One week it was a brazen smash and grab of a jacket on display in the window. I thought it was a one-off and I wasn't super concerned. The following week, it was much more. This time, a trio of thieves inside the Yale Town store for not more than 30 seconds. We lost over $20,000 at retail worth of goods. Brooklyn Clothing has been here for 15 years and its owners never had trouble like this before. I do think it's related to COVID. In a matter of weeks, the store has been hit eight times. There are fewer people on the streets at night or in the morning, so I think that I think that if you're up to something bad, there, are, there, you know, there, there's, there's no witnesses. It's just easier. In the first four weeks of spring, commercial break and enters in Vancouver spiked 147 percent over the same time last year. Stores are closed, uh, and their stores are left unoccupied, and so it gives an opportunity to thieves to break into those um, shops and, and steal the goods. Last week, Vancouver police announced they'd arrested 40 suspects in connection to recent commercial B&Es. It's hard to say if what's happening in Vancouver is reflective of what's happening in the region. Recent crime stats vary community by community. And in ones that are policed by the RCMP, like Burnaby and Surrey, first quarter results aren't due till the end of the month. In the meantime, Surrey has increased daily patrols around businesses closed due to the pandemic and increased focus on managing known property crime offenders. At SkyTrain stations with fewer people around, the March crime rate dropped 29 percent. But that's little comfort at this booster juice outlet where a thief recently took off with the electronic tablet used for delivery orders. It's our lifeline right now. Owners say the store already operates at a loss, but they thought it was important to stay open. We believe, especially as small business people, uh, I believe it's important to keep the flow of business moving, even if it's at a short-term loss. Meanwhile, at Brooklyn Clothing, protective bars that were removed from windows years ago have now been reinstalled. It's unfortunate, but I feel like if I didn't have the bars up, then I would have to have plywood up like so many businesses around town. Bell Peary, CBC News, Vancouver.